Good afternoon. It is November 16, and I've got a stack here of vinyl finds that I'm going to go through. I have a few minutes. This is going to be quick, unlike some of my other videos where I kind of edit them together and put music. I'm just going to go through this stack of records that have recently come into my house, and I have to get them into the shelves today. First one. Let's see. All right. The Meters, this is their second album on Josie, US. I've got a reissue of this and the first album. The first album's my favorite. Um, I, I, I love their instrumentals, uh, The Meters. Next one is Gal Costa and Catano Veloso. This is the 1982 Brazilian reissue and I think this album came out in 1967, a year before the Tropicalia movement and all their albums. I haven't played it yet, but I saw it and had to pick it up. This is the Tropicalia album. Uh, my Brazilian is bad. Uh, Panis A, sir, I have no idea. This is the 1972 stereo. This came out in 68. This is a, it's a compilation of uh, multiple artists that put into, in, um, do songs for this particular album and that recorded it in mono. And it wasn't that great, but this is the, the first reissue in stereo from Brazil in stereo. And this sounds much better than the mono. Those 80 pressings, the 1982 and 1985 and 1986 from Brazil, that is a lot cheaper way to get into this. If you're thinking about Brazilian and haven't checked out Los Mutantes or Gal Costa or Gatana Velosa, grab this record. And if you like it, then jump into Brazilian. If you don't like this, maybe back up. But this is great. This is my, I've got the... 68 OG mono, I've got this 72 stereo, and I have an 82 stereo, and I'm gonna compare this with the 82, and then I'm probably gonna VLCT that other one. Okay, this is Jorge Ben, is that how you say it, Jorge? George Ben, Jorge? I don't have my Brazilian down. This is 1974 first pressing. This was a blind buy. I rated this as a G plus cover and a VG plus uh, vinyl. I don't know this music, but um, I've got a few records with his name and so I'm gonna dig it in and check it out. Okay, Catana Veloso. This is his album after the Tropicalia album. This is really good stuff, it's a great cover. This is 1968 Brazilian first pressing the mono on that Philips label. I have um, a few different reissues of this and Third Man Records just did a really nice pressing of this and I heard it's probably the best, the best pressing, best sounding. I was in Vegas recently and hit a couple last weekend for a wedding and hit up a couple of record stores. And I finally found this one, the 1976 German, I'm going to cover it, I guess. I don't know. German first pressing of Virgin Killers. This is a great album. It's a bad cover. They pulled it fairly quickly, but this is from Germany. It's got great songs. This is my favorite era. Picture Life, Catch Your Train, In Your Park, Backstage Queen. Virgin Killer, all this stuff is great. They re they reissued it quickly and they used this as the cover. But Scorpions, early Scorpions is great. I have actually, I've got um, the first album on Brain coming to me from Denbosch. I can't even put that in the cover. Okay, the next thing I found in Vegas was Coda. This is the 200 gram pressing Bernie Grunman classic records I have I have almost all of these I need houses of the holy presence and into the outdoor 
and then I will have all of these classic records Led Zeppelin. I won't need the road case. Sign on brightly, Proco Harem, UK, Regal Zonophone. I believe this is their second album. I don't. I don't really know the second album of Proco Harem, so I just I picked it up because I just recently got the first. And still in Vegas, Josephus. This is the the real famous album. Their Dead Man, that album from 1971. This is this is the same album, but recorded three months earlier by the label, but it never got put out. And then a few months later, they re-recorded themselves, and that's the expensive one that you see that's a thousand bucks or fifteen hundred dollars. Well, this came out in '93, and then Lance at Permanent Records reissued this a few years ago, and this is a test pressing from Permanent Records version. Really good, sounds great, and it's different than the the expensive one. It's really interesting. This was on the wall as well. Let it be naked. I've never had this. Finally, I do. And actually, this was at Pasadena City College a couple weeks ago, um, last week, and actually two weeks ago, and it has the single. Let it be naked. The Troll, animated music, this is Psych. I heard the album on, online and I've seen the cover and I had a chance to pick it up. And so I did on Smash, really good. At Pasadena City College, UFO One. This is the a reissue German from 1976, this is my favorite UFO one and two are my favorite UFO. It's more psych proggy than the hard rock that most people know. And he also had UFO two, which was the 76 reissue as well. I still need OGs for both of these. On Pasadena, Q65 Revival, surprised to have this. This is, Q65 is a band from the Netherlands in the 60s. Few albums, really good song. Garage, psych, more garagey, but great. I love the vocals, I love the guitars. This is a repress from 2001. I need the original. Again, from Pasadena City College. White Light, White Heat. Not like I need another version of this album, but I've never had, had it with this cover. This is a UK early 80s reissue on MGM. I've got the US mono, a couple of different US stereos. I have this many times over, but just not with this cover. Love Full Sail. This is a 1969 Monarch pressing RL and the Dead Wax. Dead Wax, this is the one you want for this. I have a few copies of this, but I never had, I've never had the Monarch pressing and I didn't even know RL. Robert Ludwig was in the Dead Wax. Okay, last one. This crystal. This is a blind buy. I saw it up in the wall. I, I think I've heard the name before, but I don't really know the album. Uh, I wrote lots of good fuzz guitar, really good vocals. And actually, I believe, I don't even know if this is a reissue. I'm gonna have to look into it, but crystal. That is the last of my really quick vinyl finds for November 16. I've got a another stack over there that I'm gonna spend a little more time with and have some clips so you could hear what it sounds like and decide if you wanna buy that. Thanks, and I will see you on the next video.